Welcome back to the channel. So I thought I'd go over my tether setup. And this would typically be a studio setup or something that I would use if I was shooting in a location house and I didn't have access to um, power within that location or I wanted something that was super um, portable that I can move around easily. So of course I'm using Capture One. I'm using my MacBook Pro. This is an M3 uh, MacBook Pro and you'll notice a little bit of a difference with this one and it has a dual screen on this MacBook. And this is my preferred way of using Capture One when I'm on location. So I'd like to have my, um, my current image full screen so I can see all the detail as I'm shooting. And then I can click through just by touching the screen here to access or quickly access previous images without having to reduce the full screen. So I find that super easy, especially if I have a camera in my hand and I can only sort of control the keyboard with this hand, so to speak. Um, obviously I can use the mouse to scroll through if I wanted to. Now, of course, this isn't a dual screen MacBook. What I'm using here is a Wacom uh, Move Ink. Now it's a touch screen uh, retouch pad, but I've had it for a while and I've used it more for this than I have done for Photoshop and retouching. But the beauty about having it with Capture One is you can also use it for masking. I'm not gonna show you that today, but I just thought I'd introduce you to that because I think it's a really interesting way of shooting. I have the Apple keyboard in the front here. So again, it's easy to sort of go through and rate images. So we are on an image over here. So if I wanted to rate that of two star, that would go into this two star folder. We're currently looking just the one star. I'm gonna put a shopping list below so you can see everything I'm using in today's setup. Super lightweight, as I said, I can pick it up with both hands, move it without having to dismantle it. And yeah, it's pretty stable. I'm using a Sony a7 IV with the battery grip on there. I'm using a Tether Tools, uh, it's about a 4.6 meter Tether cable. If we take the camera out of this amazing hoop, so I'm not sure if you've seen one of these yet, but this is called a camera hoop made by a company called First Digi. And that enables you just to be able to stash your camera really neatly between shots there. So yes, you can then have both hands to go through your edit. And then my power running into the MacBook, I'm using the MagSafe, which is around here. And that is being routed into a V-mount battery that has two USB-C ports on the top. And that is gonna run me about half a day. You get an update on the screen of what the power output is and how much battery we have left, so that's super handy. And then when it comes to swapping the batteries out, really easy, V-mount, go straight back on there, swap it out with a new one. So I can charge that with a, a MacBook um, charger and it charges in next to no time. Um, the hoop incidentally is being held on by a super clamp and that doubles up as an area where I can wrap the cable. So if I'm lifting up this table and moving it around then the cables can be sort of stashed neatly over there. The tether table itself is literally, I've taken the head off the Manfrotto tripod and this does have an Arca Swiss plate on it but I've just used the um, the screw that's in the bottom of this head on the tether table and gone straight onto the tripod itself. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this setup. Have you seen this used before in Capture One with the Wacom Move Ink? I think it's a really interesting way of working. As I said before, using it for masking in Capture One is, um, is really easy and really intuitive also. So I thank you for watching today's video. If you found it useful, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and ring that bell if you'd like to be notified of future videos. Lots more Capture One tutorials coming up soon. I will list another couple of those tutorials that I've already made on the screen now. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.